Yeah, you've got to be prepared to share the enemies you've got, particularly um, around a grand final. Like I remember recruiting David Clark from Geelong, offering the chance which Long couldn't have played in a premiership. And to help him, he came off the bench, I think, in the preliminary final and kicked a couple for us to get into the grand final. We wouldn't have been there without him. And I dropped him for the grand final. I, I, and we've remained half reasonable friends. He's a, you know, so you think? Well, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's saying, but I'm the back. That's absolutely right, Dennis. But, but, but I, I remember I couldn't sleep in the in the lead up to having to tell him. I even got him dressed up and let him run out in the ground to you know try and placate it, which was a very bad decision as well. So I mean, those things live with it. They, they override some of the great memories in the well, game. Well, they certainly do. I can remember one senior player had a wonderful career at North Melbourne and he was at the end. He was probably 31, 32. Um, didn't get a game in the seniors for the whole year and came into my office before the 96 grand final and said, are you going to play me this week? Uh, you know, it sort of, uh, you know. And hadn't years. played all year. Hadn't played hadn't all year. Played and he was a very good player. I can remember Matthew Armstrong come across to North Melbourne yes. from Fitzroy. Terrific bloke, very good player. Mm. But just at the finish, and um, we'd uh, gone into the, the grand final and we taught Stuart Anderson, who was a young boy, um, very talented young man, and we opted for him because just thought he might have given us a bit of run and a bit of enthusiasm. Matty was really slowing down. And in retrospect, I look at it now and thought, gee, if I had my chance again, would I have done the same thing? I'm, I'm not sure whether I would have, but I'm, I can tell you now, Matty Armstrong doesn't send me Christmas cards. <laughs> and that's... Funny, I, don't, I don't think I don't think I'm on bad terms with any of the players I okay, like really bad terms, like they hate me, but one could. Ronnie McEwen, the second semi-final of 1990, got to the ground and we picked the team. I put the teams up, you know, like as you do, our team, their team, I thought, it's no one to Ronnie McEwen to play on. Like the type of defender yeah, yeah, Ronnie yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. I thought, oh, jeez, I've stuffed this up. You know, I really, all of a sudden I thought, jeez, I've made a terrible mistake. So I decided to make the change. And this is about an hour, you know, hour and a half before the game. But just as players were gathering, poor old Ronnie, he was already changed before the meeting about an hour and a half before the game. Mm. So it was a, you know, but it's funny, at the time, I must, must have been callous. I just thought, oh, well, that's better for the team. That's what we're going to do. You now look back and you think, God, oh, that was a terrible thing to do to a young fella. Terrible. But given the same circs in the same situation, do it again. you do it again. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. That's one of the mongrel things. Was, you know, you kind of made the mistake in the selection, but nevertheless it was a, a terrible thing when you think back yeah, of it yeah. to do to a, a, a young right. athlete. The other day, I was at Bunnings and got bumped into the, one of the bins. I'm upside down in one of the bins. I look up at some... A player, obviously, and I sort of half recognised him face and remember me, he says. I said, uh, your face is familiar. He said, uh, Teddy Johnson, I played 49 games for Hawthorne. You sacked me before I got 50. I must admit, I said, well, probably I shouldn't have played during the first 49. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's going to happen. I still get silly phone calls from people. I've never bothered changing my mobile. Anyone who wants to ring me can find it, you know. Ex-players, players you've tipped out, drunk on a Saturday night, <laughs> you, you, know, you know, and I think to myself, well, if you argue with fools, soon people won't be able to uh, <laughs> recognise the difference. <laughs> <laughs>